This is the guy everyone thinks killed um, the owner. It's also a guy who is in this case. He is a ventriloquist, his puppet. Sure says some things. Um, these are people we know. This is the owner's daughter. Ringmaster, that's what it is. Master, this is also a guy that works at the circus. Um, both these two creepy people have proposed or are proposing the 16 year old girl. Lives in like a fantasy world. Cool. Okay. Good. That's my summary. Um. Game is louder. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. What's that? 
hold on. Swap. Sorry, I'm also blocking my mic. Let's kill this panel. Okay, I hope that's better. Um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yeah, magic tricks are ah, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. It's because the tricks are performed by pros. You do it so you can't guess the trick. But but the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Girls did a magic trick? What kind of trick was it? Let's see. It looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. <laughs> First, she put her right thumb next to her left thumb, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? But kind of like this? What? Wow! How'd you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician! See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Well, your badge is still shining. Barely. It may be showing a bit of wear, but I try to take good care of this thing. You sure do love to show that off, don't you, Nick? Who knows how many times you've shown it to me. That's right. I whip it out at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Picture of the crime scene. I wonder what that wooden box is. It was probably left at the scene. I can't believe there was only a bottle of pepper in that thing. It must be related to the crime somehow. This is fun, isn't it, Nick? Not really. Maybe fun to solve mysteries, but don't forget that this is a murder case. Aw, oh, you're right. I should take things more seriously. No matter how you look at it, it's definitely Max's silk hat. There's even a feather stuck in it. There's something wrong with this hat, though. Most testimony. Said, but the hat was found on the ground in the scene. This really is a mystery. What's the matter, Maya? Which poster is cooler? This one or the Steel Samurai po bah, poster? I'm not a big fan of either one of them. I guess putting a poster of a magician in a law office is kind of strange. Seem to be 
in a very good mood today. Of course I'm not. I have to find a criminal who's discovered the ability to fly. Yeah, I guess that would put you in a bad mood. 20 pounds, huh? That's pretty heavy. Spicy camp. Yeah, spicy camp is good. Especially since, uh, especially since the only thing inside was a small bottle of pepper. The more you think about it, the more it starts to make your head hurt. But compared to tomorrow, this will all be a happy memory. Tomorrow? Don't get ahead of yourself, Maya. Let's concentrate on today. If Mo says he saw a flying criminal, that means it must have been... Wait, I should. Is it? I'm sh okay. Hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, wait. Wait, you're whining. Let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. Try when it's just as Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're only gonna have to be on your own. You're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, then what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're working on a secret tra crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret 
press train.
television station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, The Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition. That's what I was thinking, but the projection staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully good that possibility. I'd have no choice. It would be a contract contractual obligation. That's show business. Okay, let's talk. Night of the murder. Um, the night of the crime? You didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here is how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the studio clown says, it wasn't me. Uh... Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind the line? You'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. Shit. Yeah, what if Max is guilty? Then I'm gonna have a hard decision to make here. As his defense attorney. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous! A great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... I've won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at the circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. About what Max just said rings true to my ears. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. I'm sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I am really sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Voila, here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at that fabulous stage. That is the first stage that I ever flew. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The Wow. <clears throat> By the way, I think everyone who's a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain it to the other people in the circus. It's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? It's not how you earn a trophy. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. They're gonna love that. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. How to get thrown in jail. Yeah, I guess I should go and show that to literally everyone at the... Uh... Thing. Circus.
Okay. Let's uh let's show everyone this picture and see how mad they get. Oh. No reaction? Damn. Sad. Okay. Um December twenty ninth. Lodging Hosts Plaza. Yep, Maya has to earn that trophy. Oh, it's you two. Look like you just got hit by a truck. Did you get some rest? I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laugh that much? Fake laughing that much. Francisco really needs to- ha. <laughs> Francisco really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always butterized this. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's wound him up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared in the sky. That's what happened. It means a killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up so, don't get any ideas about going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? Well, I'm definitely going there. Ugh. Siska Von Karma! She's done with her investigation. I think I'll go up there and check it out. Examine or move? That's it? Any of this new? This is the condenser for the air conditioner. It hasn't been used in a while. What? How'd you figure that out? You're not making things up now, are you? Hold your horses. It was easy to figure out. It was snowing before the murder, right? Well, look at the condenser. The snow is still piled on top of it. Wow, Nick! I'm impressed. Maybe you should be a PI instead of an attorney. Ringmaster's body was found here. I heard... The way he fell over made him look like he was carrying a wooden box. What in the world really happened here? Something's covered up by this tarp. An old sign, perhaps. Nick! Look out! They've got the killer trap behind that tarp! What? It wasn't funny. You know it wouldn't have to hurt you to look even a little bit surprised. That I was too scared to talk. The safety light was on at the time of the murder, wasn't it? That's what they say. There were performers in the lodging house, so it makes sense that it was. I bet the killer was worried that someone would spot them during. I guess I never inspected that room. Maybe it's new dialogue. Uh... Where should I go? Okay. Mo 
Joe's not here. If he was here, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped into this room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. Ha! Ah, aha! 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 What do you think he's laughing at when he's all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. I must really love this work. Oh man, I haven't inspected any of this stuff with Maya here yet. Or with just Maya, with just Maya. You've really got to give it to Mo. Slipping on a banana peel a hundred times a day? That's incredible. Maybe I should try giving it a shot myself. I guess I'll start out by juggling. Maybe you should start with spirit channeling, just a thought. Oh, I've already seen that dialogue. Ceiling. Looks like someone punched a hole in it. Oh, right. I wonder what happened. I don't even want to imagine what goes on here. <laughs> Cloud equipment is so funny looking. It's got a balancing ball, a unicycle, even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Well, you've got to give them all a shot. Trying is the most important thing. Sure seems to have tried them all. Are any of these useful? These carrots look like they're the pick of the crop, don't they? I still don't get why he went with carrots. What do you think about this theory? A long time ago, the circus was down on its luck. Bo was so hungry that he had to steal the horse's food to survive. But he got addicted to their orgy goodness. <laughs> I'd laugh, but I think Maya might not be too far from the truth. Mo seems to be a, a gracious reader. Look at the hard books he has here. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns for dummies, the jokes on you, your peons right, and the classic funny jokes are funny. Wow, Mo is very studious. Jokes on you. Costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. It must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh! I almost forgot! What is it now? You better not want me to try out one of those costumes. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. That's a that's a very good theory that he uh bounced on the trampoline and broke it, and then also put a hole through the ceiling with his head. Thank you, Kid Boo. Speculation. Uh, I'll call it World Spirit Channel, so we can display it in our office. Uh, in our, in our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. witness the crime. Well, this is where Mo witnessed some craziness. I mean, what? Flying criminal? Jeez. If we had a normal judge, he'd never believe something like that. Yeah, that judge is, uh, is a person. Circus entrance. Hurry up and get out of here. Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm just, um, allergic to wild tigers. Yeah. Stay hydrated, everyone. Let's go. December 29th, Big Talk. Max and the ringmaster had their talks in this room. Talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why'd he do that anyway? Is it really that cold or something? This was the 
save the use when visitors came to see him. Ew, uh, there's mud caked on the table. Terrible manners must put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about providing a reenactment for me. It wasn't. How long do you think I am anyway? I've already seen that dialogue. Also, the person who put their feet up is was clearly Max. I don't know if you guys remember that <laughs> the fucking uh, the illustration of him with, like, leaning back his feet are up on the table. It's pretty great. You may not know this, but they call this a tail poke. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out from the Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay, there's nothing interesting in here. Let's go. Uh, cafeteria. All right, welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria. Nice. He's in an awfully good mood. All right, you know what time it is. Riddle time. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um. Come on, you can answer this. It's easy. Is cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? Eh, wrong. Try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um. Uh, I got it. Okay, what's your answer? Because they're in the cafe teary eye. I should have probably said that differently. <laughs> to actually make the joke make sense. Okay. Exactly. It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. Ah, ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I did it. What's going on? He's being too nice. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning, I had to smash watermelons. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. Can we even use the famed no shoes, no shirt, no service joke? Exactly. How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw. I swear. That creep just... Flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a psychic look. He must be telling the truth. Uh, okay. Let's show him this fucking photo. Ah, not this picture. He showed it to you guys, too. Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. Ah, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Oh yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, Mo is a very bad clown. <laughs> he showed me his bus too. And let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship him every day. He made us bow to his greatness. Got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. <laughs> he showed me his nuts, too. Hold on, this is the thing I represented. I feel like I'm... 
examine this room. Da, ba, ba, da, 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 da. Yeah. This is strange. There's nothing on top of this stand. Look here. Max is right there. Must be his VIP table. Isn't it a bit small to be a VIP table? Also want to ask my sweet pie princess. 
Okay. Thanks. I know exactly where it is, but... Thanks for being... Miss Hell. Guys, where is this note? God. Hey! Do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of his tailcoat. No. I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet it's the other half of that note that, that, uh, that Mo gave us. Let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it! It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. At 10 p.m. tonight. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Okay. Uh, circus and you know about this one? No. Uh, I thought I'd try. Hey, Detective Gumshoe! I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. Oh, with Miss Von Karma. Nick? What is that? That beeping sound. It's Miss Von Karma. What? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, quick. See ya, pal. I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside, it's freezing out here. Quinn's is biting as- Ow! As biting as lashes from a whip. But fun, fun karma. She really did appear. What the hell? It was a real battle today, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. In the story of my dream at your hands, making the national news. <laughs> National news, you possess such a small sense of scale. Global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of the win. I just smidge. gets whipped every time I present that. It's fun karma. It appears that you're, you got your hands on something big, huh? Huh. I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You could hide that little victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? Conclusive witness. You must be the acrobat. I'm putting the summons for him. Uh, I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. This is the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I gotta try and find out more information myself. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove he's been guilty. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. 
My dad? You must be the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this? Or any other conversation? Then, then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I have to see him again. Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth? What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M M Miles e e Edgeworth? Miles Edgeworth. Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? M Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... Right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother? But Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. He's gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick! What does she mean? Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. Then... It's after that... Never set foot into it. left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. So pathetic. Yeah, Dracula's your dad. <laughs> that was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth? He's dead? I don't believe He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddled the honorable name, Von Karma. I'm gonna find him. And then, I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. N -n Nick! Um, about Mr. Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again. Nick? It's Von Karma. What? I don't know if you're God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him too. What in the world happened? This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Okay, let's go to Acro's room. Actually, I will be right back. Um, I gotta get more water. Uh...
Hello. I am back. Let's talk to Acro. Oh wait, sorry, was that spoilers? He doesn't have a name yet. <laughs> Oops. You must be Phoenix Wright. Yes? Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of this circus as well? That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope. Trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform in is my wheelchair. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miser miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. Such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his parents. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't ever leave this building by myself. That's awful! The accident happened. Oh, the accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um. Damn. Gotta break those titty locks. Psyche locks. It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well. Exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Let's go. What in the world went on at the circus then? I, s I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Uh, went there for rehabilitation. What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go into the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all in. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. I saw what I saw. You saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What did you see, Agro? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? It's flying straight up into the air. It he? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying? I am absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. N 
Nick. Damn it! Why does no one have a reaction? To my badge. she claims to tame. She's innocent, thus she can be- I wonder what happened between Akra and Regina. The ringmaster, he was even more than a father to me. When he took me, the circus was in bad shape. It's obvious that he had no real way of supporting us. What does he mean by us? Is that why you started with acrobatics? Back then, I was only nine years old. I begged the ringmaster to let me try, and he finally gave in. Having a kid in the circus is probably the last thing in the world I just wanted to be helpful so I could help the ringmaster. That's such a nice story. The ringmaster really believed in love. 100%. What will happen to the circus now that the ringmaster's gone? Got his for upper body training. Wait a second. Is it the same as 
she's on see on TV all the time. Hey, Nick. What? I don't have this one. Oh, okay. I reread that dialogue. Okay, there's probably nothing new here. Let's go to um back here. And let's go to uh the circus entrance. And then over to the big top. There we go. Need a piece of chocolate also. God. It's very melty. I've got a bad feeling about this. Ah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Filet O Phoenix. Stay! Stay! Heal! Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A uh, mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Talk. Russellberry. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was! I love my dad so much! I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For, for a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that... When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A, a star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. If someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way Maya believes that. What do you mean, uh, there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will. I think. I've got a feeling that everyone's doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's all great with it. Just to go back and clear something up. Why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Actually, it's a stage costume. It's got a lot of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. You should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Leave it up to us. I guess there's no turning down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it? Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what that is. But really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper. It was in your pocket? I guess I noticed it there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take acro. Uh, I always take acro as breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket. Yep, yeah, but since I'm not a murderer, 
I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. Then what? I wonder if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there. How'd you know? So it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murderer. Murder. I think. It explains a lot, actually. I wonder who wrote this. There's no denying it. Max is cool. I want to try flying someday with Max. He's already flown off into her own little world. Nick, I want to try flying too. Uh, okay. I'll think about it. That's Pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria. Huh? It's from the cafeteria? It's not? I remember seeing it there. So this was the cafeteria's Pepper. You know... I'm not a big fan of Pepper. Whoa, what just happened to my OPS? That was weird. It did like a refresh of everything. It's still like streaming okay. Uh, okay. Let's go, I guess, look for her costume, which would be in. not here. What's that? I hear something. St stop it, Nick! You're scaring me! Nick! It's money! That monkey's holding something. That's it! That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on this monkey. Attorney style. <laughs> uh... Tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I really want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well. Guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Rude. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually... I would wear that. Whatever. <laughs> Although it is a vest. Kind of iffy on vests. you, Mr. Attorney. It's... it's nothing. No wonder guys melt too much in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Leon. He 
was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, we all did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth, you know? Ah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always love seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. I'm sure they were screaming because they loved you see that uh, they love seeing you do that. Anyway, anyways, anyways. What was the bad thing? Oh yeah. Leon bit someone during that practice. But R Regina? Everything was alright though, right? No, oh, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. That's when Leon. Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers! Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Bistro du, Bistro du Cirque, aka the cafeteria. It smells so good in here, and those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible. Anyone with a hankering for a burger. Yeah, Apollo eat your hamburgers. Look at all these look at all these hamburger plates in the background. I had hamburgers for dinner. <laughs> One bite will send you into a hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell by the smell. Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. Now that the ringmaster's gone, what are you gonna do? That's all I thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You heard Akro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he, he was livid when he heard about the murder. Akra was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. Was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyway, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Oh. All that's left to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know... Tragedy? You know? What's he talking about? Get over what tragedy? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. It must be the tragic death of the Ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it. You're right, girly. Dang, dang, dang! Correct the mungo! you mean dang? Oh, I mean no disrespect here, but... Are you lying to us? Eh, no, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone can get over this tragedy seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek. Oh, I'm right, aren't I? Gotta break those titty locks. Oh no, he doesn't have a titty lock. He doesn't have three. So now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. 
give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, huh? Do I have all the evidence I need to break these two psyche laws? Oh, please. Tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? Okay, okay. There's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, hey, look over there. Some juicy burgers. Eat them instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh, actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Oh, you said something about an accident? This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? Take that! I should have saved that. I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you... I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity. He's bitten. Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. Promised? He's involved in this, too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Oh, is this the person that you promised wouldn't say anything? Wouldn't say anything? Take that! It must have been Acro. Right? <laughs> How would you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No. No way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. My eyes are super dry right now. Recharge my meter, too. It's just like you said. You know, the accident. Someone die? No, but it probably would have been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. When he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Huh? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever gonna be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. But brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyway, they were an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingley, but everyone just calls him Bat. He fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon. Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. He... 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 you mean Leon? Yeah, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling.
Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! Smirky lion? A flying murderer? Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick? The lion smile? Um... We never, we never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka, 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Uh, uh, uh! Chew! Chew! Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh? You think so? You sneeze with a pepper and slip on a banana peel? That's basic clownsmanship. Girly, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Other, other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. Does <laughs> Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. That would always tease her with pepper. From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Okay, I have a psyche lock to break, I think. It's always so confusing to get around the circus. Okay. Lodging house. Acro's room. Oh, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait. Or was that someone else? Back because Acro's hiding why his legs were in. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It seemed that he knows... Well, well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. Okay. Push for Zed. Mega Tama. Break these fucking titty locks. is not the best word to be so let me rephrase that as battled lion you seem to enjoy telling jokes why would i decide to battle a lion because you had to fight it you had to fight it to save someone Take that. this bitch Bad. it's a shame what happened to your brother six months ago you tried to save him didn't you and that's how you got that terrible. One more lock. Must have told. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. He didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. Slip of the tongue? 
Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together. That was where he slipped. And that's how I figured it out. You two ended up in the center of the same accident. Together. Like always. I see. Accident is an accident. It isn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Astro or uh, Acro's last titty log. This must be one incredibly deep seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro. I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being amazing. always seem calm and collected until you start talking about saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the same set of e No. Tiger tried to attack me. He didn't try to attack you. Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of any doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my friend. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Maybe I overdid it again. I can hand something over to Acro, maybe? Here's proof that you had it over Regina. No. Where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Acro as breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Yeah! Titty lock broken. Unlock successful. Okay, wheelchair. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane! Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that lion was very old to begin with. And age brought with it countless experiences in doing that very job. Unfortunately, at this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out. That. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about that? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him again. That's the reason why I keep. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh, yeah. I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross! It's covered in blood! This scarf. It was a present for Regina to my brother on that day of the accident. And when he did it, he looked like he was smiling. Me? Leon, obviously. Oh! Get down on Bat's head. The expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, Mo said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf, if you don't mind. Is Von Karma? I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. The scarf is evidence in the trial. 
That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Patience. I've served as a summons to Acro to be tomorrow as a witness. Acro, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro. Let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we gonna handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. I'll get you all full of things. You must have found something you can use. It's all beginning to come together now. Um, next part is a trial, and it's a two-part trial. Yes, it is. Okay. Hello, Ultima Caster. I am about to leave. I'm about to finish up my broadcast for tonight. Save your progress. Yes. Okay, that was a good investigation. We learned a lot today. <laughs> um, the next time I'm playing this will be probably next Monday. I haven't made my schedule for next week yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, probably next Monday at 11pm. Um... Okay, and so I will be on tomorrow at 5 p.m. with Bloodborne, and tomorrow at 11 p.m. with Morigato Roboto, which is a pretty interesting game so far. I have some complaints, but it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so check that out. Follow me on Twitter when you want up if you want updates or whatever. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Oh.